Hey guys, welcome back to the Wars and Azo Transfer Show. Um, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, um, but I've been experiencing some problems with the channel. But we are back, we are better, and this is a new addition. On today's show, we have Bradley Hlobler to Orlando Pirates. No Percy Tau for Bafana Bafana. And Tembi Kosiloch still wants to play overseas. We start the show off with Bradley Hlobler joining Orlando Pirates in January. Super Sports United um, CEO Stan Matthew says Bradley Hlobler will be allowed to help the team and win a trophy in order to solidify a move in January. Hlobler was heavily linked with a move to Orlando Pirates in August with the Buccaneers said to have tabled an offer for the Bafana Bafana striker but the offer was turned down by Super Sport United. The Johannesburg-born uh, Maxman will be permitted to join the Buccaneers in a subsequent transfer if he can help Supersport win one more trophy. Stanley Matthew has revealed that it's all up to Bradley Hobler if he can prove he desires a move in January. According to Matthew, Hobler has conceded that he wants to help the group win one more trophy just to enable him to live for greener pastures. Hrobler has been in form for the Toronto Giant so far this season, scoring six goals and supplying three assists in nine competitions in all competition. It's all in the player's hands. Bradley knows if he helps us win um, a trophy and gets us in a strong position in January, then it's fantastic for him, stated Matthews. It's all down to the player. If we have a great start to the season and Bradley shows what he can do for a spot back in the Bafana Bafana group, then the move in January is guaranteed. Supersports are vying for four trophies this season, but Hrobler knows that winning the MTN 8 with Supersport United helped his chances of moving to Orlando Pirates. Our next story still sticks us with Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates star midfielder Tembi Kosi Lodge revealed that he had a number of offers from overseas and admits he's being disappointed that the move never materialized. Lodge had a meteoric rise in the past year with a skillful winger capping it off winning the PSL Football of the Season and Players Player of the Season awards. His performances for Buccaneers and Bafana Bafana at AFCON earned him admirers from abroad, but the transfer window closed last month without a move happening. A couple of clubs in Europe, in France particularly, were reportedly keen on Lodge's services before the close of the window, but the Orlando Pirates winger was expected to follow in the footsteps of the last two winners of the award, securing a move overseas. But nothing happened. These are the words of Tembi Kosi Lodge. Yeah, uh, maybe to me it's good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, I had offers overseas, you know, and things didn't go their way. I was expecting Yeah, but uh, like I said, I have a good idea for other pirates. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I just have to honor it, you know, and, and play. And, and to my best, maybe uh, the right thing will come. Yeah, obviously, uh, I was disappointed. Uh, it was the, no one here in South Africa. Every player wants to play in overseas, especially at my age. So, yeah, but uh, like I said, I just have to work hard you know, uh, because time is always hard. Yeah, if the, the offer is good for the team, you know, then obviously we have to release me. You know. But for now, uh, I have a contract with them and I have to honor it and respect them. And it doesn't matter to you where you go and play overseas. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter as long as I play overseas with the best players, you know, and compete. Yeah. You heard it straight directly from Tembi Kosi Lodge. The attacker has been struggling to replicate the form which saw him scoop the PSL Footballer of the Year award um, last season, netting 13 goals and providing 7 assists across all competitions last season. This could be a few factors hindering Lodge um, from replicating the same feats from last season because typical Lodge has no goals, no assists so far this season. Um, the first one could be injury. 
the former Chipper United winger missed Pirates' first two matches of the season due to an injury he picked up in pre-season. The Bloemfontein-born player found himself um, in a lot of scoring opportunities but squandered good chances displaying his lack of sharpness in front of goal. Um, the injury could contribute to his slow start to the season and he needs time to rediscover his best form. Um, one factor could be a lack of hunger. Just like most South African footballers, Lodge harbors ambitions of playing abroad and was tipped to leave the Buccaneers for a European club following his successful 2018-2019 season. However, his proposed move to Europe didn't materialize with French side Toulouse and Belgium outfit Club Bruges being amongst the clubs which were interested in the player. The failed move affected his performances with the player having admitted that he has been looking forward to leaving Pirates for an overseas club. So this could be a major factor in why Tembikosi Lodge has been giving um, poor performances throughout the beginning of the season. One factor could be the change in formation. Um, with new coach Rolani Mukwena um, has made changes to the Pirates formation um, following the departure of Melitet Sedojovic last month. The Buccaneers were a dangerous attack-minded team under Mitchell with Lodge, Pule and Mulenga with the likes of Justin Stronger being regular attackers in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, the quad formed a very good understanding where they were able to hurt teams and relied on the ability of interchanging positions with Lodge, Pule and Shonga. Now um, Mukwena has opted for a 4-3-3 formation which features three central midfielders and three attacking um, attackers, namely Lodge, Mulenga and Mabasa who plays as a center forward. Um, Lodge will still have to adjust to the formation and prove that he's not a one season wonder for Orlando Pirates. Um, guys, this is a big story and I'll keep you updated with the latest happenings on the Tembi Kosi Lodge transfer saga. We move on to our biggest story of this episode. Bafana Bafana has no Percy Tao. Yep, guys, you heard it right. Um, Bafana Bafana striker Percy Tao is an injury doubt for the Nelson Mandela Challenge International on Friday against Mali in Port Elizabeth on Sunday. Um, Tao limped off towards the end of the first half um, for Club Bruges against um, Genk in the Pro Belgium League on Sunday, putting his participation for the national team in serious doubt. Um, he was replaced in the 41st minute of a 4-0 victory. Tao started in a three-man attack, but his ankle was bruised in a tackle in a build-up to the second goal. He continued in the game for the next 13 minutes, but was withdrawn in what could be a potential um, massive blow for new Bafana Bafana coach. If Percy Tao is ruled out of the friendly, the Bafana Bafana attack could be severely affected. Um, the South African Football Association, SAFA, will request a medical report from Bruges on the extent of Percy Tao's injury, but it's unlikely that Percy Tao would travel to Joburg. Bruges may try to persuade SAFA not to invite Percy Tao to Johannesburg because they have key games coming up in the Belgium League and a UEFA Champions League tie with Paris Saint-Germain on the 22nd of October. I mean, in my opinion, we might see Percy Tao, we might not, but um, as you've seen in the images from yesterday um, in the camp, we still have no images of Percy Tao training with the camp, so I'll keep you up to date as this story um, develops. So guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey.